Hello friends, today we are going to discuss on the noise with noise equation. So, uh, what are the different applications of noise with noise equation that we are going to discuss. So, this noise with noise equation in that we are going to investigate or we are going to estimate the dissolution rate of the solid trucks. So, this dissolution rate after putting our drug into the solution, we are going to calculate this dissolution rate. So, this dissolution of the drug that we decide or this that is the important parameter while going with the uh, solubility while going with the uh, drugs uh, solubility or pliability. So, in this noise witness equation, we are going to decide the dissolution of the solid drugs. So, this dissolution, it is the step which include the process of drug dissolution at the surface of the solid particle. So, thus forming a saturated solution around the particles. So, here we are dissolving the solid drug in the solution and the that solution that will occur or that will cover to the surface of that solid particle. So, as much as solution that gets uh, interact with the solvent that the solubility will increases. So, depending upon the surface area of the solution that affects the dissolution that affects the solubility. So, this <coughs> forming a saturated solution around the particle. So, as much as the saturated solution so, lesser will be the solubility or dissolution. Then, these dissolved layers, a, a drug in the saturated solution that is known as the stagnant layer. So, the drug when dissolved in a saturated solution that is called the stagnant layer. So, diffuse to the bulk of the solvent from the regions of high drug concentration to the region of low drug concentration. So, we go from the higher level or in this noise witness equation, we use the higher drug concentration to the lower drug concentration. So, if you see the figure of the dissolution of a solid drug particle in a solvent, here we can see the solvent, it has been covered with to the particles. So, solid drug particle is inside the that solvent that is called the uh, solid drug. Then here we can see the concentrated layer or it is called the stagnant layer. Here around this particle we can see the stagnant layer and here is the bulk solvent. So, this drug particle that dissolve from higher concentration to the lower concentration. So, as we take the less quantity of solid particle, then we will get the better dissolution. So, here C s minus C, here we can uh, say that we have to uh, remove the low concentration from high concentration. So, C s is the concentration of drug in the stagnant layer C is the concentration of drug in bulk solvent. So, here we can see the equation in next slide. So, here in this slide the overall rate of drug dissolution that may be described by this noise witness equation. So, this is very important uh, formula we can say. It is useful in all of the biopharmaceutical studies. So, this overall rate of drug dissolution that may be described by the 
नॉइज विटनेस इक्वेशन सो डी सी बाई डी टी इज इक्वल टू डी ए अपॉन एच इन दैट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी एस माइनस सी सो डी सी बाई डी टी इज द रेट ऑफ ड्रग डिजोल्यूशन एट गी वन टाइम टी सो दिस डी सी बाई डी टी दैट इज द ड्रग डिजोल्यूशन रेट ऑफ ड्रग डिजोल्यूशन सो दैट वी विल कैलकुलेट द रेट ऑफ ड्रग डिजोल्यूशन देन डी इज द डिफ्यूजन रेट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट सो हियर वी कैन कंसिडर द डिफ्यूजन रेट दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट देन ए इज द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो हाइयर द सर्फेस एरिया देन हाइयर विल बी द डिजोल्यूशन सो दिस डिफ्यूजन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड सर्फेस एरिया दे बोथ आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट सो सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द पार्टिकल दैट विल अफेक्ट ऑन द सोलिबिलिटी देन सी एस दैट इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ड्रग दैट इक्वल to the solubility of drug in the stagnant layer okay then c is the concentration of drug in the bulk solvent and h is the thick thickness of the stagnant layer so how much we are getting the thickness of that stagnant layer that is the concentration of our solvent so that thickness that should be less or it should be less concentrate or less saturate so the rate of dissolution that is dc by dt is the rate of drug that is dissolved per time expressed as the concentration change in the dissolution fluid so dc by dt it will change on the basis of the concentration of the solvent or concentration of our uh, drug that is dissolved in the solvent so as per the concentration changes the dissolution rate that will be changed and that will affect on the dc by dt okay so as increase in the temperature so different parameter or different things that affect on the noise witness equation or the dissolution rate of the drug so uh, when we go for the actual dissolution in the dissolution test apparatus uh, that is made prepared on the basis of usp so in that we ha- we can see the temperature so increase in the temperature will increase the kinetic energy of the molecule and it will increase the diffusion constant that is d okay so diffusion constant that is the uh, constant which has been uh, mentioned for all the equations then more or increase in the agitation of the solvent that the medium that will reduce the thickness the thickness that is h of the stagnant layer allowing for more rapid drug dissolution okay so drug in the body particularly in the gi or gastrointestinal is considered that to be dissolving in an aqueous environment okay so our drug that will dissolve in the aqueous environment so we are providing the aqueous environment in dissolution test apparatus so permeation of the drug across the gut wall that is a model lipid membrane is affected by the ability of the drug to diffuse okay the drug which is going to be diffused and to partition between the lipid membrane so the favorable partition coefficient that is k oil in water <coughs> so here the partition coefficient that will change as we take the oil then it is different and water it is different so in the water we will get the better partition coefficient value but that is less in the oil so that will facilitate the drug absorption okay so <laughs> all these uh, parameters like temperature agitation so they affect on the dissolution rate that is dc by dt okay so how it affects that also we have discussed that is the drug 
will take more time to diffuse the partition coefficient that will change as <coughs> it will change the liquid or uh, oil or water okay so in this article we can see the dissolution process analyzing using the model free noise witness integral equation so how this noise witness equation is applicable so in this the drug dissolution process of solid dosage form is theoretically described by the noise witness equation so however the analysis of this process that demonstrate assuming the sum models so normally the model dependent methods are idealized and require some limitations so in this study we can see the noise witness integral equation was proposed and applied to represent the drug dissolution profile of solid formulation via the non linear least square method so linear and non linear methods are there in the linear we get the straight line but in the non linear least equation the readings that will change and we will get the non linear graph so the integral equation is a model free formula involve the dissolution rate constant as a parameter so in this study several solid formulations were prepared by changing the blending time of mag uh, magnesium stearate so the magnesium stearate we have changed the blending time and by taking the theophylline monohydrate and alpha lactose monohydrate and cysteine cellulose so this formula that could be excellently represent the dissolution profile and thereby the rate constant and specific surface area could be obtained by this nlls method so in this since the long time blending coated the particle surface with magnesium stearate it was found that the water permeation was disturbed by its layer dissociating into the disintegrant particles so in the end the solid formulation that were not disintegrated however the specific surface area gradually increase during the process of the dissolution so this x ray will show the that the result and demonstration that the rough surface was dominant as compared to dissolution and the specific surface of the solid formulation gradually increases so in this graph we can see how the non linear graph we have obtained and here in the x ray also we can see how the differentiation in the particle size that has been observed so here we have derived the model free noise witness integral equation then various drug dissolution profile that we are well represented by this integral equation change in the surface area of an exposed solid was analyzed by the curve fitting so the surface area will change then the dissolution will def definitely change then x ray ct images of the solid in water that complementarily represented the disintegration okay so this disintegration that is controlled dissolution then noise witness equation so here the application of the noise witness equation has been directly imposed and we can identify that the non linear uh, method nl endless method that is very much useful to uh, determine the noise witness integral equation so this is about the noise witness equation and how it is applicable to the dissolution rate